And again, since there's a camera on me, I am not on anything. My glasses broke, so that's why you have the incredible sunglasses I'm wearing. Anyways, now to the point. Um, a lot of us, uh, we, we try to avoid the news. We don't want to, we all have our lives to live. We're trying to live day to day, trying to figure out our way through this world. But the problem is, is as we live in this world, we have to deal with other people. And dealing with other people, we actually have to deal with political decisions and, and decisions that affect our country. Whether you are from a different country or you got your citizenship or you've been born and raised in America all your life. So, John F. Kennedy, one of my favorite presidents, said, let us think of education as a means of developing our greatest abilities. Because, of, or because in each of us, there is a private hope and a dream which fulfilled can be translated into a benefit for everyone and the greater strength of our nation. What that means is it, it's not just talking about school and education and stuff like that. It's about knowing what's going on around us. What is going, around that, going on around us that affects our every single day lives. And the more knowledge that we have that, of the things that are going on around us, the more effective we can make better decisions that will best affect all of us in general. Three major areas that uh, are going on right now in American politics, and oh my god, I have to fix this, um, that we should all kind of uh, start focusing on is the debate on health care, the United States' global affairs, aka military actions around the world, and the economy, what's going on with the dollar, and what's going on with the current debt that the United States currently has. If we, because, no offense, these things, what, will affect our lives no matter what way you look at it and the more we educate ourselves on these things the more we can actually make informed decisions when it comes to voting and you know voting on politicians and voting on laws that will affect these three things that we're about to talk about right now first of all health care we are every single time i go on social media i am sick and tired of hearing everyone going like oh my god poor people are not going to be able to have health care because trump Oh my god, oh my god, what are we going to do? But at the same time, you have to realize, too, that there's an ongoing debate with health care that, that has gone on since, you know, even before Obama was in office and before he originally initiated his first health care flu. Back in uh, March, of, or before uh, March of uh, two, 20, uh, before March 23rd of 2010, there was an ongoing debate. There was ongoing issues as far as a new health care bill that was supposed to go in, in the place, which is the Affordable, the affordable uh, Health Care Action, which, short, short term, Obamacare. A lot of people, there are so many debates going on about it, there are so many people trying to twist arms and do backroom deals and stuff like that, and before the, past, or before the uh, health care bill was passed, um, there was, there, no one was able to read the bill which basically presented a lot of problems for Americans. The Affordable Care Act did actually do some good. It actually, actually uh, the result of uh, the passage of Obamacare, more people were able to find uh, and get health coverage. Um, insurance companies had to cover pre-existing conditions, which a lot of them would actually charge an arm and a leg for, or, or basically deny you a certain type of health care healthcare coverage and all that stuff. But then once it was passed, uh, the Affordable Care Act, employers actually had to provide health insurance to their employees. However, that had a little bit of blowback. People lost hours because of this uh, provision of the health care bill. Medicare was actually more accessible to people because, well, health insurance rates were, were actually going up uh, because everyone now had to have health insurance or have to pay a fine. So there's been, an, on this ongoing debate, the Republicans have been constantly Rawr, 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 rawr. Let's get rid of Obamacare. Obamacare is bad. Obamacare is bad. We gotta get rid of it. With that being said, now we're currently dealing with the debate on Democrats wanting to, you know, Democrats are now saying, oh, millions of Americans will lose health care coverage. Millions of Americans won't have health care at all or accessible accessibility to health care and all that. And also at the same time, the Republicans haven't come up with a really good repeal bill or an alternative bill to the Obamacare legislation. The reason why I bring this up is this is stuff that you need to know about what's going on as you guys are you know, becoming citizens. And so you can actually make an informed decision on what would be the best 
uh, option for us as uh, going forward as far as providing a real legitimate health care bill that would actually benefit you, your family, and your loved ones. And, it, and of course, you have to start thinking, how will this affect you? Will people be able to afford health care? Will you be able to afford health care? Will hospitals be able to pay the bills uh, if Americans can't pay their hospital bills? Will health care be uh, a good profession to go into if hospitals can't even pay their employees? And will your future career in the healthcare industry be worth it if you if hospitals can't pay you, your private doc, private doctors' offices can't pay you, and all that other stuff? So these are why these are reasons why you should actually start paying attention to this particular issue, and where it's going to take you in your future career, if you're going into healthcare or if you're just a normal person. How is this going to affect you know your income? Where is your money? How much how much of your money are you going to have to put in healthcare? compared to your other bills and all that stuff. My favorite topic, America's global affairs. We are in so, America is so, is so far involved in so many different wars, and, and even right now we're even having talks about going to another war with a different country. America is involved in so many different military actions, you have to actually ask yourself what's going to happen from this point on. Back in, uh, 2000, or back in 2001, obviously the, glor the war on terror began when 9-11 happened and the trade towers were hit and everything else. Bush basically started the war on terror with Afghanistan and Iraq. That has led us to a six, I believe we're going on 16 years now, um, in Iraq and Afghanistan and all that stuff. But that our global affairs don't stop there. During uh, Obama's term, we had attacks on Libya, Syria, and a ton of other drone strikes in a lot of different other countries. And currently, right now, Donald Trump is currently having a Twitter war with President Rocket Man of North Korea, <laughs> as is, that's described here. So, how will this affect you? How will these wars affect you? How will these wars affect your families back home if you're from a different country? How will these affect the nations all around you? How will this affect political policy going forward as far as laws, as far as, uh, as, far as laws and as far as what we're going to do? And even more importantly, how is this going to affect our economy? The reason why I bring up uh, the, the global war on terror is these are things that you should be thinking about and also things that you should be considering when it comes to voting for politicians and and uh, where the, where the future of this country goes, because what happens here may affect you and your families at home. And of course, the economy. Everyone loves to talk about the economy. That's what ever since uh, two thousand seven, when um, when we started bailing out banks and started bailing out a lot of different people, um, the issue of the economy has been ongoing. During Obama's term, people started realizing that America was in trillions of dollars of debt. Currently, right now, we are close to $20 trillion in debt. The start market is right now currently kind of stable-ish, but it's always an up and down kind of thing. And huh? Right now, it's currently up, but it's always going up and down because it's unstable in the long run. And right now, the dollar is currently losing value because of the twenty tr the twenty trillion dollars in debt. Right now, we are behind the euro and a few other uh, currencies. Right now, again, how will this affect you? Is this why America is outsourcing its jobs? America is sp America spending trillion tr spending trillions of dollars on these wars. Politicians are being paid more than they should be, and the government is mishandling tax dollar pay. How will this affect you? We want to become a citizen after all this. These are the issues that will affect you. Knowledge is power, and these, uh, these, knowing these things will definitely help you as far as electing better politicians and actually turning the ties as far as where our tax dollars go. And definitely, will definitely by being by having knowledge of what's going on with the economy and stuff like that, you can also help yourselves your family, and your careers as far as where you're going to go. Conclusion. The economy, the wars, healthcare. Politics is not a fun thing. 
I don't like politics. I don't like going on Facebook and seeing a lot of political conversations because everyone is on one side or the other, and we're not having any conversations about where to go as far as the future. But you guys are planning to be citizens one of these days, or already are citizens. This is why you should actually start paying attention to these issues. When you see these issues going on and on and on, eventually these, these issues that I just brought up will affect you and your family, your loved ones, your career, and possibly your overall variety of life. I'm not saying this stuff to scare you. I'm saying this stuff to basically persuade you to start paying attention to what's going on in American politics, what's going on in healthcare, what's going on with the economy, and what's going on with these wars. Because everyone's affected by this stuff. And the more informed we are as people, the more we can actually start making better decisions and turning the ties for our country. Thank you so much for your time.